I am Detective Tim, uh, Denver, and I'm prepared to find a murderer here tonight. I have a gun, and I'm prepared to use it. <laughs> so be careful. I always wanted to shoot something. <laughs> First, we will have Mr. Garcia. He's the host. He's been blackmailing his guest. He has been tricked by his butler into coming to his own dinner party where he will be forced to confront the very people he's been blackmailing. Mr. Garcia. <laughs> <laughs> the butler wouldn't miss a party. He knows everything about the host and the guests. He sent everyone their invitations for tonight's party, where he explained that Mr. Garcia wished to settle a long-standing debt. The butler. Good evening, everyone. The maid will be there helping the butler prepare for the guest. She is helpful, shy, and naive. But everyone wonders if it's all just an act. The maid. Mrs. Garcia will be present tonight. She is the ex-wife of the host, Mr. Garcia. She is a well-known psychologist. Mr. Garcia found out she is having an affair on him with many of her patients. She is a new counselor. <laughs> <laughs> she believes it's okay to have relations with her patients because she is curing them with love. <laughs> Mr. Garcia divorced her. She received no money from him and she pays him money to keep his mouth shut or better relationship with her patients because if he tells them she will lose her job. Mrs. Peacock is a guest tonight. She was Mr. and Mrs. Garcia's maid years ago. Mrs. Peacock has a wealthy husband who does not know about their affair between his wife and Mr. Garcia. Mrs. Peacock has been a large sum of money to Mr. Garcia to keep the spare a secret. Good night, everyone. Cassandra Scarlett. She wouldn't miss a party if he killed her. She runs an escort business in town. She is paying Mr. Garcia thousands on a monthly basis to keep quiet about her secret business. If anyone finds out, she would lose her government job and her marriage would be in jeopardy. <laughs> I'll show up for sure. Mr. Mustard tells everyone he's in the military, but really he's an undercover secret agent. Mr. Mustard is a dirty agent. He owns and operates a pornography business, and the police have wanted to shut him down for some time. The outfit is funded by Mr. Garcia, but Mr. Mustard is barely surviving because he has to pay Mr. Garcia so much. Mr. Garcia has evidence that could prove Mr. Mustard is a dirty cop who bribes people to star in his movies. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Rebecca Black is a black widow. She has killed two husbands. Both men die mysteriously. But we were unable to pin the crimes on her. Mrs. Garcia, Mr. Garcia has evidence that could put her away for a very long time. So the host, Mr. Garcia, is blackmailing her as well. <coughs> Finally, I'm Detective Denver here tonight, and with your help, I plan to set things right. You will, you have received, you will receive a reward if you can help me catch the killer here tonight. So the balance you receive when you came in, after the, the murder takes place and we have our dinner, you can put your name on the ballot of the person who you think is killed and put it in the box. So there will be a murder taking place on Hillview Road tonight. <laughs> Thank you.
have your instructions, yes? Good evening, please come in. Good evening. And uh, who are you? I am Wedgworth, the butler. Very well. My name is Mustard. Deshaun Mustard. <laughs> Yvette, this is Mr. Mustard. Mr. Mustard, he's at the maid. Yvette, can you see Mr. Mustard has anything he requires? Within reason, that is. <laughs> Do come in. Do you know who I am? Only that you're referred to as a Mrs. Black. Mrs. Black, this is Yvette Demi and Mr. Mustard. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> you come in, you are expected. Hi. Good evening. <laughs> Right address to meet Mr. Garcia? Yes, it is. Oh, Please let me take your things. <laughs> Mrs. Peacock, this is Mr. Mustard, Mrs. Black, and Yvette Domingo. Good evening. <laughs> Gentlemen, Please, let me take the things. You can join the others. Thank you. Please let me take your coat. You want anything else? <laughs> Please join the others. Garcia, 
I was married to that bastard. <laughs> the worst ten years of my life. Would you like a sausage, Miss Scarlett? <laughs> 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 Garcia wishes to put something behind him that has long been overdue. Mine was signed, a friend. I also got a letter. Excuse me, Tony, but would yours have happened to state the same? No, that's not what my letter said, man. Is there something you want to say to me? Oh, sit down, you bastard! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my instructions to tell you all how you know each other here tonight. You all have something in common. You're all being blackmailed by someone in this room. You're all paying what you can, some of you more than you can, to someone who threatens to expose you. None of you know who it is that is blackmailing you. Oh, please! Nobody could blackmail me! My life is an open book! I've never hurt anybody! Anyone else at this table wish to deny this? Very well. As we're all in the same boat, no harm me revealing some details. My instructions are to do so. Don't you think you might spare us this humiliation? Sorry. Mrs. Garcia, you know what you did. Uh, you haven't got the proof. You can't prove that I slept with any of my patients. What did she do? She slept with her patients? Good. Interesting. Oh, how disgusting. Mrs. Peacock, are you passing judgment? It's only a few short years back you were Tony's and Mrs. Garcia's maiden. They were still married. You guys were having an affair. You had a love child together. And you're paying a blackmailer so that your wealthy husband doesn't find it. That is a lie! That is a vicious, vicious lie! You Tony 
woman's child, that is my husband's child. Paternity tests have proven it. I too feel I'm being blackmailed for something I didn't do. Mm. Well, I'm being blackmailed all right. Mm. But I did it. <laughs> escort business. Now, I provide women, I mean men, with women for a very short time. But now my girls, they don't just lie in their backs all day long. They provide those men with intelligent conversation. <coughs> and whoever comes, <laughs> please, please. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Well, what's the number? <laughs> I certainly am not. Are you trying to make me look stupid? Me? Make you look stupid? You do a, quite a fine job on your own there. Well, myself, I don't see anything wrong with Mr. Mustard visiting your establishment. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not waiting for the butler to expose me or anybody else. I'm homosexual, and I'm in the military. <laughs> and I've been bribing people to stare at my pornography movies. And I'm being blackmailed for money. A lot of goddamn money. <laughs> and Mrs. Black, you too seem to have come to a large sum of money. I did when, nothing uh, wrong. When your husband died under mysterious circumstances? I did nothing wrong. Then why are you paying a blackmail? He was a lunatic. He was deranged. He didn't seem to like me very much. He threatened to kill me. In public. And yet... He was the one who had died, not you? <laughs> what was he like? He was always a stupidly optimistic man. It came as a rather great shock to him when he died. His head had been cut off and his, you know. <laughs> I was out all night at the movies. And Mrs. Black, he was your second husband, right? Your first one disappeared? <clears throat> that was his job. He was an illusionist. <laughs> However, he never reappeared. He wasn't a very good illusionist. <laughs> <laughs> and Mrs. Block, your husband, do you miss him? Well, it's a matter of life and death. Now that he's dead, I have a life. <laughs> My opinion, a good man is like a rug. You lay it right the first time, you can walk all over it for years. <laughs> Secret. <laughs> I don't have any secrets, you know that. Oh, having you all guessed by now? Tony is the guy who's responsible for blackmailing you. <gasps> the cops have been contacted. They'll be here in 35 minutes. Tell the cops everything when they arrive. Tony goes behind bars the rest of his day. You fucking two-faced maggot. Oh, <laughs> You see, 
He is responsible for this mess. We got to clean up. He's called the cops to come over here and get us. I suggest we put an end to our little game right now. Someone kill him. I say it was you, Wadsworth. You killed him before he could kill you. Well, I know it wasn't me because I wouldn't hurt a fly. Well, it certainly wasn't me. I'm a lover, not a killer. It wasn't me either. Well, I don't know about any of you, but I need a drink. Yes, I knew about the blackmail, yes, but no, I'm not in on it. You see, I work for Mr. Garcia, more or less as a slave, with any, with any pay. You know, I sent you all the letters. I'm responsible for getting you all here tonight. What? I sent the letters. However, I just wanted Tony to be arrested when the cops show up later on. Not to be murdered. Now I don't know what the hell to do. So it was all explained then. Explained? Nothing is explained. Nothing! <laughs> what the hell? Well, I guess the cops will be here soon anyway. <gasps> the police! We can't possibly have the police come here! He's dead on the floor! <laughs> How can we find out which one of you did this? Well, one of us did it. We're all in the room together. Any one of us could have done it. We all have a motive. I'd say it was you, Wadsworth. You killed him before he could kill you. We all had a motive? We all had a motive. Great! We're all going to the chair. Who killed Mr. Garcia? Stop shouting! I am not shouting. Okay, fine, I am shouting. I am shouting. <laughs> Calm down, everybody. Let's get the bastard up on the couch. <laughs> careful, careful, careful. Don't, don't get blood on the sofa. Careful. Careful. Okay, we, we got event. We got event, too. Don't get blood on the sofa. Don't get blood on the sofa. Fruiting not the size of Jimmy Vader, is it? One day when we're all alone together. 
However, seeming how that cleavage and me and you being alone is attempting? <laughs> Two husbands did. I don't think me and me will ever be caught alone. <laughs> I could use a drink. Yeah, me too. You want to drink here or what? Of course, I don't know what we're going to do, boys. <gasps> Whoever that is, they have to leave or they may be killed too. Let's go see. Right on time. <laughs> business? He bribes people being these filthy videos and pictures that he takes. <laughs> Can you really get in those positions? Oh, let me show you. Oh. Yvette, do you want to look at the pictures? No, I am the lady. <laughs> oh, lady, if you were such a lady, you would know what the pictures were all about. It was you, Mr. Mustard. You killed Tony. Yeah? Yeah, what? It was me. What? But I'm an 
gonna call an FBI agent. And there's nothing any of you can do about it. None of you. Not even those bitches in the kitchen. <laughs> Is that right now? You just can't kill whoever you like. You cannot run an illegal pornography business. Oh yeah? You are under arrest. have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can help go be held against you for the law. <sighs> All right, it was me, but I had to do it. The butler had to be stopped. The butler, god damn it. Mr. Garcia was blackmailing me. Shut it up! Do I not get to all criminals? Every one of them. Shut up, I always get my man. <laughs> They don't want to see the rest of you, see? <laughs> Just the murderer. <laughs> Fran. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Read my lips. <laughs> I'm gonna play nice. Thank you. I'm gonna play nice. You get a mic, boy, can't you tell? And the winner, for guessing Mr. Mustard, and I didn't have many, many votes, Maureen Parsons. <laughs> Maureen. Maureen Parsons to the stage, please. <laughs> Mr. Mustard won't hit on you, I promise. <laughs> I know it's my Dijon. <laughs> you love your Dijon, eh? <laughs> Congratulations. Hey, boys. One, two, three.